sports and everything that we do to be a good example to show the, the will of Jesus Christ. Okay? So, what is the good news? The good news occurs 93 times in the Bible, exclusively in the New Testament. Okay? The good news is that God wants reconciliation with his creation. Okay, because all of us have done things our own way and we feel, I want to do what I want. I want to do what God wants. I want to do what I want to do. I want to live my life how I want and make myself happy. Well, guess what? Your ways of happiness can never be fulfilled without God. It is your ways. How long does it last? And when your happiness starts to fade, what do you do? You turn to drugs, alcohol, all sorts of manners of wickedness try and fill your happiness some people feel that happiness is going out fridays getting drunk getting plastered they can't remember what they've done when you ask them what did you do at work on monday morning they say i don't know i was drunk and i had a wonderful time well i've got good news for you you can be drunk in the spirit of god okay you can you can be happy soberly in god because god gives you a sober mind okay and all happiness is in him Somebody asked me the other day and say, brother, do you believe in real love? I said, no, I don't. And she was shocked. She said, you don't believe in real love? I said, no, I don't believe in real love. I said, because the world's way of real love is what you think. I said, did you know that you can take every single individual in this college, put them in a room and tell them, write what real love is in a piece of paper. They will all tell you some fabulous stories and all sorts of ideas. I said, but I believe in true love, and true love comes from the Lord Jesus Christ. So your marriages, your engagements, whatever you do, cannot function correctly without the will of God and the power of God. You understand? Because God teaches us how to love. Only love comes from Jesus Christ, and that is true love, where the world makes up their real love. That never lasts. But God's love lasts, for God says he loves you unconditionally. But as people will only love people conditionally. When someone gets on our nerves, we feel that's it. I don't love you anymore. They want to get rid of you. But God doesn't want to get rid of you. God is calling you time and time and time again. Many of us have problems in our lives. Abuse at home, all sorts of things going on. You know, we fell out with people in our families, all sorts. We've been hurt by many. And we just say, yeah, that's it. I don't want to know. But guess what? God is calling you. Because God wants to know. Because God loves you. There are people that say, you know, I don't love my daughter, my son anymore. I don't love my husband anymore. I don't love my wife anymore. I don't love my brother anymore. But God loves you. Okay? And that will never change. All you have to do is simply turn to Him. For God is knocking at your mind and your heart saying, let me in. Let me in. And you say, no, no, I'm sorry. I'm not home, God, at the moment. Because I'm going to drink my alcohol. I'm going to sit down at Greg's and smoke and do what I want to do. No, turn to the Lord because all, all goodness comes from God. And God, all he wants is just a relationship with you. You don't need religion. Many people say, I hate religion. Well, guess what, everybody? I hate religion too. Because a lot of religion is a lie. And all religion is what they can get out of you and what you can do for them and not what you can do for God. All you need to simply do is read the words of God here. This book that's last generations, this Bible here is the truth. You read your Bible, you pray to God and God will give you like-minded people that believe the same way. For God says that you have to believe on one accord. Okay, so religion just lies, it divides, it kills, and it does all sorts of damage and torture. That's what religion does. Religion is a lie. L-I-E. Religion is a lie. Do you understand? Only the Bible is the truth. And God is the truth. But people take this Bible. And they say, I'm a seven day Adventist. No, you're seven day wickedness. That's what you are. No one says, oh, I'm a Jehovah's Witness. Well, guess what? Jehovah will witness to you. And a lot of you people say, I'm a Catholic, praying down to your statues and idols. What does God say in Exodus 20 verse 4? It says, make no image, make no image, bow down to no image, but yet you still bow down to your image in the sake of uh, religion. You know, I could say to this tree, oh tree, can you help me? I don't hear anything. Neither is your worthless statues. They don't do anything. They're dumb gods. Turn to your book, turn to the Lord and free religion, 
for all of them just coming their own theology for God is the truth and all of them no matter who they are they still rely on this book to pervert and to twist and to make their religion so I only encourage you brothers and sisters to read your Bible yourselves read your book just simply ask God to help you understand and God will start to work with you and I pray that you be saved and then you'll see the truth for yourself you will see the truth. You'll read Exodus, sister. You'll read Exodus verse 20, chapter 20. And when you see that you shouldn't bow down to statues and idols, you won't just leave. You'll gallop and run from your Catholic church because you know it's false because the Bible says it's false. You understand, my sister? Amen. So I'm just saying to you all, you know, just to seek God. I pray for you all that you start to have a relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ. He died for us, okay? To, to take away sins of the world and to give us all a sober mind and that relationship that he calls for. So I'm just only hoping and encouraging you that you all turn to the Lord. Pick up your Bible, for times is coming to a close. We're heading towards the times of the mark of the beast, people. Many of you will be microchipped. I'm letting you know that now. You will be microchipped. And your passport, your bank details, every living thing about you will be on there. And if you feel that you take that chip, you're condemned to hell. And if you feel you're going to re retaliate against the government once you take that ship, they will turn it off and they will starve you. So you remember this crazy man in the green tracksuit telling you, Oh, he was...